Well, John Coverdale from the Catholic Voices joins us now in the studio. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Why is looking after the earth a Catholic issue? The, the Catholic Church has been interested in the earth for a very long time. Um, it's in the Bible that we are to be stewards of the earth. And in the past, this has very often been interpreted uh, as a, a sort of top-down, you know, humans at the top and everything else beneath. What Pope Francis seems to be saying is that uh, we can't have them separate. We have to... This is a really encouraging thing, that the world is uh, us and, the, and nature. It, he calls it integral ecology. Uh, where you have human ecology and natural ecology, and they have to mesh, they have to go into one. And this is a, a very exciting thing for the Pope to be saying. It's beginning to sound a lot like liberation theology. I mean, I mean, you know, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven, and the Church should act to bring about social, uh, political, and environmental change. Yet previous popes opposed liberation theology. Is Pope Francis radical in that sense? Well, as Archbishop of uh, Buenos Aires, he took actions against liberation theology. But it is true, he, he is refocusing people into the plight of the poor and how, how the, the lives of the poor can be improved uh, without necessarily harming the planet, uh, which is uh, a new way of looking at things, the new way of seeing uh, social reform as well as... Uh, planet reform. I mean, as Archbishop of Buenos Aires, he would have come into contact with many um, poor people, and uh, for those people, clean energy is going to be much more expensive than using fossil fuels. And there will be many countries around the world who will say, many developing countries who say, we need fossil fuels mm. to get to a level of industrialization that the rest of the world has reached. Surely that message will just fall on deaf ears, because it's not about the church, it's about science and it's about paying the bills. Well, this encyclical rather goes beyond just the science. The scientific facts are there, but he goes on well, to... Well, I disagree. I don't think the science... I mean, there's, there are facts on... Well, there are an opinion on one side, an opinion on the other side. Yes. I think the facts are pretty... It's very difficult to say we don't know for certain anything, do we? He takes, he takes this broad scientific consensus that seems to have emerged, yeah. mm. and he says that... You know, we've spent enough time hypothesizing, we've spent enough time wondering uh, how this is happening and how long it's going on for. He's saying we've got to act now, we've got to reform the way we think of things, the way we engage with each other, the way we engage with other countries. Right. That, that's countries and people. And he's calling for this uh, change in right. mentality. So Pope Francis issues an encyclical making a plea for sustainable development. These encyclicals basically shape Catholic thinking, don't they? How much influence, what sort of impact is that going to have on the Catholic community in terms of the way they see climate change? I think uh, the Catholic Church often works in very long periods of time. So you won't necessarily see something immediately next week. But uh, the, I think the encyclical in 1891, Rerum Novarum, which was Pope Leo XIII, really saying we've got to change the way we employ people, we've got to give people a fair wage, a living wage. And it's now that we're having those arguments in the developed world here. Um, so it may take a very long time. Mm. Um, but yes, I, I think the, uh, the leadership the Pope is showing is, is quite extraordinary and vision uh, for the world. John Coverdale, thank you very much indeed. You're with the Arise News Hour. Here are the top stories this evening. As you've just heard, President Obama has expressed sorrow and anger over the Charleston race massacre. In the past hour, a suspect has been arrested. He's in custody and is believed to be the main subject of the investigation. Hopes of an agreement between Greece and its... ...for the world to take responsibility for climate change in a 180-page document. It was released today ahead of his trip to the US. Also ahead on today's show, why two legs are better than one for this pink flamingo at a zoo in Brazil.